Aries. I'm sorry, this is going to be have to be part two because my camera just died out of nowhere. So back to what I was saying, this is definitely in relation to a partnership or marriage, somebody that you could be living with with the four of wands, and then we have the five of wands, Leo, Sagittarius. So this could be arguing, arguments, fights, you know, competition about a partnership or marriage. I'm just feeling like my Aries, y'all need to just go ahead and release this energy and speak your truth. Um, and if you're going to invest into this person, be honest about it. But I feel like some of you guys could be feeling trapped and stuff and you're needing to move forward. Definitely dealing for Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces that's feeling like maybe stuck in their head, trapped in their head because they love you. But they feel like you have a choice between two lovers. So some of my areas, y'all definitely got a choice between two lovers. One person you can live with and it might not be the best of situation you want. And then you have like another person that you truly like want to be with. But it's like you hard, it's hard for you to really give them an offer because you need to end a cycle with this world card and this four cups. Some of you guys are definitely in the cycle in order for things to come you know in order for you to move on in okay uh, with this person so let's go ahead and um i'm sorry this is part two but i'm gonna make it worth your while um we're gonna go ahead and pull some um twin flame soulmate um cards this is my new deck which is the smoke and mirrors twin flame oracle so this is a message deck we're gonna see aries what your person has to say about this connection you know these are message cards um they're not on my website yet um, they will be on my website pretty soon. I just got my deck in the mail. So you guys, you know, I hope you enjoy this deck. But this is a Twin Flame Oracle deck, Soulmate Oracle deck. Um, and it's very raw and real. So let's see what your Twin Flame or Soulmate has to say that you might not be aware of. I'm um, Aries, okay? Universal Spirit, give me messages for my Aries. What does my Aries Twin Flame or Soulmate needs to say to them that they are un unaware about? <laughs> Aries, it says, I secretly pleasure myself to your pictures and videos. So, Aries, even you could be doing this to your soulmate because, <laughs> you know, it's going to be vice versa. We can flip the roles. If your soulmate is doing this and you're not aware of that, or this is how you feel about your soulmate or twin flame, like, you can't you can't resist them, you know? Like, every time you think about them and the energy and the sexual connection and the emotions, it's like you want to come towards this new love, but you can't fully come towards them. So, all you left with is pictures and videos to... I guess pleasure yourself to them, you know? Sorry if it's TMI, but take what resonates. This is 18 plus. Spirit, give me one more card for my Aries, for their twin flame and soulmate. What do Aries or their partner has to say? They told soulmate and twin flame that's distance right now. What does this person have to say about Aries or what do they feel about my Aries? Okay, so Aries, this is how you could be feeling about your soulmate, and probably this can be an unspoken word, or this could be how your soulmate feels about you. It says, my pride and ego won't allow me to take action towards this connection. So I'm feeling like for some of my Aries, and you guys definitely have the soulmate or new love that's coming in, but it's hard for you to move towards this connection because there's some type of ego that you need to release, some type of pride that you need to release. Um, or this person that you could be connected to, Aries, they have some type of pride or ego. Um, and they're needing to work on that and go through an ego death before they go towards you. Because, But they do have a lot of uh, sexual desires for you, okay? And give me one more card for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is they soulmate or twin flame thinking about them? Ooh. Your soulmate or twin flame, Aries, says, I wonder who's touching and loving on you now. <laughs> Your soulmate and twin flame want to know, making sure that they want to make sure that you're not out here doing nothing with nobody else. They on, they only want you to be with them, okay? So this person is definitely kind of like a little possessive over that. And you know, ain't nothing wrong when a person, you know, really, really strongly having a desire for you, but long as it's healthy. But I just feel like this person definitely is, they could be very curious, they could be jealous, they could be wanting to know if you're doing something outside of this connection, why you guys are at a distance from each other. Because like I said, this new love is definitely at a distance, okay? And then it's somebody, and then we have the last card. It says, I ghosted this connection to avoid facing you and the truth. So some of you guys could have had a person that ghosted you because they couldn't FaceTime you the truth. Or maybe you guys ghosted this connection because it's like you couldn't fully tell this person that you were tied to another connection. And this is the reason why you couldn't fully offer the true cup that this person deserved even though you wanted to. But I do feel like some of you guys are trying to work out the cycle. It's just been very hard for you to do so with that nine of wands. But you you still putting up a fight, okay? And let's see what's at the back of the deck. Ooh, third eye chakra. We have the third eye chakra, okay? And with the third eye chakra, this is your intuition and understanding. So this is clairvoyances, seeing beyond the five body senses, the psychic sense. 
you guys uh, could be them for a person, like I said, is a high priestess. This person is very intuitive. They understand and they're very intuitive. So they know whatever you're not telling them, Aries, or whatever's not being said or spoken, either you know, that this, if this is a person doing this to you, you know this, or this is a person doing, you know, if you're doing this to a person, Aries, you they know that, you know, something is going on and they just want you to come clean and they want you to use that throat chakra. We have the throat chakra card. So some of you guys need to communicate and open up in order for things to heal. Um, and I feel like some of my areas it says your love is different from what I'm used to and it scares me. So some of you guys are definitely dealing with a person that's brand new, a new energy, a new connection. It scares you. You never had a person like this in your life. I feel like you feel a lot of love for this person. Um, but it's just like you're tied to a lot of other shit that you're not being honest about, Aries. So this can be the other person. So take what resonates. But a lot of you guys are definitely wanting to rush into this person and kind of like either see them, hook up, make love, take them out, spend some time. So, yeah. But you guys are being sneaky. And secretive about some shit, okay? So let's go ahead and um see what's going on. Let's see what's going on for my Aries. Give me one note from the universe card for my Aries. I'm gonna rise the Venus for the month of November. Ooh, we got multiple cards, but um let's take the first two, okay? It says sometimes the good is hidden, Aries. So sometimes the good is hidden. Find the good in what they said or asked. It is always there, even if they didn't mean for it to be there. Sherlockily yourself, the universe. P.S. Clues for what you want are hidden all around you. Okay, so this is finding the good in people or in situations um, and what people say to you, what they ask of you. Um, you know, because there's always some underlining good in, in situations, okay? So some of you guys are needing to just, you know, see things from a, a higher level perspective, a more optimistic perspective. Um... Somebody's just wanting to see things. Um, I feel like somebody's trying to find a good in you, Aries. Or they're trying to find a good in this connection, okay? Or you need to find a good in this connection. Because there's a lot of clues that's hidden in this connection. So it's time for you guys to kind of like seek out. That's what I'm saying. Because um, there's some things that's hidden in this connection. That in order for you to see those things. In order to for you to experience those things. You have to take heed and seek them out. Okay? And then we have what... What you give will come back, Aries. So what you give to a person will come back. It says, when in doubt, give. Let them have it. Surrender. Make peace when there's no doubt. Give. Let them have it. Surrender. Make peace. Did I make life too easy? The universe. P.S. There's no doubt who is number one in my book. Shh. Okay. So the universe is saying, you know... When in doubt, you know, when, when the situations that arise and people might have their differences or you're just wanting things to be on at peace with, like, the sun card. Because I'm feeling like some of you guys just want things to be more balanced and at peace with this new love. Um, and, and this person at a distance is like, you're trying to work out things. You haven't been honest about certain things, Aries, but it's like you're wanting peace to come into this new situation. But you have a career on your mind. You're trying to release some baggages. You have a family that you're trying to release or an old person that's a narcissist that you're trying to release. There's a lot going on, Aries, for my, for y'all. So I'm feeling like some spirit is wanting you to just like give in, let them have it, surrender, make peace. If this person is asking questions or they might have, you know, their emotions is up high, you know, with this page of cups, their emotions is up high, you know, they're expressing themselves to you. I feel like some of you guys are just going to surrender just to have, keep the peace with this person because you really do enjoy this person you do enjoy this connection you do have a lot of love for this person but you're wanting things to be more easier okay and then the last card we have that did pop out was turn on your love light we had two cards that popped out but there was um four cards all together so this is the third card it says turn on your love light sometimes the best way to remain sane is to love like crazy works for me the universe some of you guys are be, need to be more open to love and express your love more you know once you express your love more that person will reciprocate it back tenfold and you will actually be happy that you was open to this new connection okay and then the last card we have is those you love love you to be beautiful in the eyes of another, simply forget they're watching, okay? So to be beautiful in the eyes of another, Aries, maybe you guys are needing to just simply forget that this person is watching you, okay? So it's a lot of people right now that could love you. You might have multiple people that's in love with you right now, a distance love, a new love, um, this person from the past. But it's like some of you guys are just needing to sit back and just really, really... Uh, be beautiful and somebody else asks for a change, okay? Or maybe somebody that's just somebody just sees you as a beautiful person in their eyes, regardless. Like if you're not around, it just 
they think about the good times that you guys have. They, they think about how beautiful the connection can be regardless of circumstances, okay? But I do feel like somebody's definitely um, beautiful. They see you as beautiful in your eyes, um, in their eyes, or you guys are seeing another person as beautiful, okay? And I feel like even when they don't do anything, you're still thinking about this person because you have a strong connection to them, okay? So that's what I have. For my Aries, let me know if it resonates. I'm sorry I had to split it up into two parts. But my camera died. I hope y'all can understand. If it resonates, leave a comment below. Um, yeah, check out my website for all my products. I have my Yoni tees on there, you guys. Um, I don't know if you can see this because my camera kind of acting funny. I do have my money oil on there. It's also a ritual oil. It's called King of Pentacles. If you guys are wanting to do some money rituals and manifest money into your life, this is beautiful. You can also put it in your bath. It is infused with 24K gold, okay? And yeah, my birthday is tomorrow, y'all. So leave me a birthday comment. If you would like to donate, leave a comment below or look at my description box below to see how to donate to my channel. And I appreciate you guys. Peace.